Welcome to Dust Geek. I'm so excited to share this with you. If you've not heard of Code Combat, then you're in for a treat. If you have heard about it, then you probably know most of what's in this video, except for I'm just going to ask you to join my clan, which I'll have down in the show notes because we can code together and see who is the master. For those who don't know what Code Combat is, I'm about to show you, but I'm going to go start with their about page and we're going to show the game itself and how it goes about teaching you stuff. I think it's absolutely amazing. Right now it focuses on Python and JavaScript. It's an open source project, which makes it just that much more beautiful because so many community members have contributed to it. We'll get into that in a second here. I love their page, their about page. If you want to learn to program, you need to write a lot of code. At Code Combat, our job is to make sure you're doing that with a smile on your face. So if you've taken the courses, which I recommend this as a complimentary tool to something like an edX course on Python or Udemy or Linux Academy, whatever you're utilizing as a training resource. If you're learning Python, utilize this as something in between. When you're like, you know what? I don't feel like studying tonight, or I need to take a break from the books or the typical classes and quizzes and do something fun. And this is going to help you kind of sink that knowledge into your brain. And you're going to get to play a game and level up a character while you're doing it. It's amazing. Great way for kids as well. But hey, I'm an adult and I'm loving every second of it. So they go on further here to say our mission is to make programming accessible to everyone on earth. They have the code combat team. Look at all these beautiful, amazing people who contribute to this fantastic project. So first and foremost, thank you to all of them for the incredible work that they're doing. Just a great set of people. Also it's open source community. So you have hundreds of other contributors out there who have taken their time to make this tool what it is. So huge thanks to all those people. 5 million total players, 190 plus countries, a billion lines of code and counting. And I love that they show some of the original drawings for what this was going to be, because when we get into the game and show you, you're going to see how far it's come along. But look at those drawings, pretty, pretty simplistic drawings, a couple if statements here and there, and you know, just an idea and look what it's turned into something absolutely amazing. So what you can see here is we have a bunch of dungeons. I'm on the first dungeon here, the Kithgard dungeon and I am learning Python. My character is level 10, I've got 181 stones, there's my name, and you do have Code Combat Premium. What this does is lets you access 300 plus levels that are available, unlock exclusive heroes and pets, learn to make games and websites, $99 for lifetime access. That's pretty amazing, $9.99 a month. I would go for the 99 if you can afford it for sure. Uh, but you can also play for free. So I've only been doing the free version up to this point to make sure you like it and you're learning from it. And I will tell you the first couple lessons you're kind of going through, they really are slow in getting the basics down. Um, but then it really starts like now you're getting into looping and things like that, which is really cool to see uh, the further along you get. They got a little survey how old you are. Here's the clans. And I'm going to go to my clan here because you need to join it, the Dusky community. I will have a link for this in the show notes. We got two other people who joined. I put it in my Patreon group. A couple of people joined, but I'll have this invite link for you in the show notes so you can join me here playing this. We also have items. This is where you can see I have some uh, money down here. I can buy different things to unlock for my character, different weapons, armor, books, accessories. You can play warriors, rangers, wizards. You've got a bunch of different options in how your character looks, which is very cool. Not Here's some of your hero options. So you've got a nice plethora of heroes here. God of War looking dude. You've got some, what is that, Shredder? Looking like Shredder there. Uh, your typical high elf or dark elf there. You've got a lot of cool characters that you would typically see in an RPG. And then when, which program you want to le learn here, you've got Python, JavaScript, and CoffeeScript, which is currently an experimental stage that you can learn. Uh, but I'm doing the default Python there. Here you can load your achievements to show uh, some of the things that you've done. So I did 10 argument levels, completed 10 basic syntax, completed five levels, completed one level, but you see all the different options here for achievements, which kind of keeps you on the road and going. You've got your buy gems. So if you just want to buy gems to get weapons and unlock, but don't want to do a monthly subscription and that type of thing, you can do that here as well. And you have your settings here, which will show my account info. So I'm not going to go into that. So let's play. So you start out right here, I believe. And you can see as you start completing the different quests, you keep moving on and it tells you where you're currently on. 
So let's get into this, which is going to teach me variables are like labeled bottles that hold data, basic syntax and Not variables. Problem. So I can equip the different weapons I have. If you're a subscriber, of course, you have some other weapons and things that you'll have access to. But we'll put my sword on. There we go. Got nice armor. I think we're good to go. Code combat. So once you get into the game, you know, there's a lot of areas where you're fighting and doing combat and loops combat and trying to escape mazes. This particular one, let's figure out what the goals are. It's going to immediately tell you, label the bottles using variables, assign a value to each variable. These magic bottles hold data. First, you need to pick a variable name to label the bottle. Then you assign a value to the bottle using the operator. So my variable equals my string value. value. So we can go ahead and start level. So it kind of gives you a lot of hints here in the comments. You can see with the hashtag, a lot of these areas are commented out. Now I'm further along in the game. So keep in mind if when you first start out, it's going to be really simple and it's going to get you to this area here. So if you're looking at this going, oh, I already can't do it. Trust me, you can. They're going to start you out super simple. The other cool thing is they have the methods here over on the right of your screen. So this is kind of telling you some of the commands you would use in this case in order to complete the function. You have your character, you have a play button, you also have a run button. So your goal is basically to accomplish whatever task, whatever it's attacking ogres or enemies or escaping a room, uh, getting out of a maze using the code over here, which over time is going to teach you how to write Python, uh, not just for making games, but for any use case, because you're learning all of these important syntaxes and things. Use equal sign to assign value to a variable. We already did create two more variables assign value to it. I think this will work. So you can see once we completed that code, it moved these to ha ha and LOL. And that is exactly what we wanted to accomplish. And they have some value assigned to them. So we can click done, continue. And now I can go on to of course the next one. So in this, we're further along, obviously, than you're going to be. You're going to start at the beginning. It's going to take you through some basic steps. But here now is where I'm at. And you can see it starts getting a little more advanced. You hear almost survive, defeat the ogres, navigate the maze under 10 statements, and collect the gems. So you can see we've got to make all of these movements, get all of our gems, and escape here. And it starts you out with use a while looped to both move and attack. So while true we can pass some arguments here and what we're going to do is find nearest enemy but first we need to move hero dot move i don't know let's just see what happens move right oh, oh. <laughs> well, this is a terrible idea i thought he would seek out the enemy but clearly does not. So we move right twice. I guess you can't move up twice. I don't know. Move right. Move up. Move right. Oh my gosh. The past All right. is such this a is working moron. now. This is working. Watch this. Disaster. Oh, right. Still there. All right. So we don't want to move down three times. Eh. Move right. Move up. I feel like we've nailed it. Move right. Look at this moron proud Move of up. failing 80 times. Move right. <laughs> oh, I see you. <laughs> I have too many statements here. Move up. But Move right. things are working finally Move now up. as I screwed this up. Move right. Ow. And it's because I'm not properly planning for all the looping. Move up. And Move goals. Right. It says success. Under 10 statements. I feel like I'm over 10 statements, but I guess not because it's just counting the ones that I added here. So, you know, we take out the comments and everything. We're pretty good. So I passed. And you can see... I learned some things about paying attention to the loops. I was basically treating it like it wasn't in a loop mode and writing each individual step, and that was getting me killed. But once I got these loops down right, everything worked out, and I was able to complete this. And so here 
you're learning about while true loops you're seeing it actually execute the code when we play it which is really cool right. we get to kind of watch and you can Move see right. it's highlighting the code as it's going through and showing us Move what up. it's doing right. and then coming back around and some of these steps may not be Move the most right. efficient and you can come in here and you can adjust that and make this more this code more efficient right. if you wanted to as you go now we get the glorious loot and things that keep you playing. We've got the experience that you gain. You can go buy some more cool things. Or you can take some money and subscribe to these awesome folks because they certainly deserve it. So, are you going to be a master coder after you're done with this? Maybe. Maybe if you spend enough time, you unlock some of the premium content and get playing, you probably could get very good and efficient at coding with it. But... I think the point of this is this is just a really fun way of breaking up and learning Python. So if you've not checked out CodeCombat.com, no, they didn't sponsor me. No, they didn't reach out to me, although they should because I like to have them on Destination Linux to talk to them. These are some pretty awesome people. You definitely want to go check them out. You know who does sponsor this channel, though? It's DigitalOcean. DigitalOcean is my favorite service on the planet, and I mean that. Like, well before they ever sponsored Destination Linux Network, I loved Digital Ocean. So if you go to do.co slash DL, you're going to see this, this sign up for Digital Ocean with a hundred dollar credit. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, if you really want to learn about the cloud, you want to take your career to the next level. If you want to do droplets, create websites and servers that you own, have more private secure servers out there, then you're going to want to use Digital Ocean. It's so simple. They even have one click droplets that you can drop in there, do one click and have a WordPress site, for instance, up and running. They have over 2000 tutorials to help you out immediately. So if you get stuck, even if you're not using DigitalOcean, you can still use their tutorials. That's how cool these people are. Here are the one click apps I was talking about. Node, Docker, Ghost, Lamp, MySQL, GitLab, just to name a few. And there's so much more. Powerful performance, simplified pricing. You can get a droplet for as little as $5 a month. Good luck trying to find that on some of the bigger cloud services out there. You've got scalable storage. You've got high availability. It's absolutely awesome. My website, Destination Linux website, destinationlinux.network website, all of that stuff runs on DigitalOcean or Code EMD servers, all of that. So please let DigitalOcean know how much you love them by letting them know I sent you there by going to do.co slash DLN. Okay, so right now all Code Combat supports, I don't wanna say all because I think it's a good uh, set of programs is Python and JavaScript, but they obviously are always looking into other languages. They get a lot of requests about C, C++, Java, and all those, so those may come in the future, but it's a community effort. So if you wanna get involved, you certainly can with them, or if you wanna support them financially, even better because they we wanna keep them around. I think it's pretty awesome, it's great for kids, great for adults to learn coding and absolutely fantastic product. I just love, I dig it. So go check out Code Combat, go join my clan so that we can take over the servers and be the most powerful clan out there. I hope all of you are doing well through this ridiculous, insane time that we're in with COVID. I love all your faces, especially those who have supported this channel, who continue to leave comments and encouragement and all those things. Thank you so much for all the kindness that you've shown this channel over the years. And I hope all of you are staying well and healthy and able to find some things that you can do with this time to, you know, improve yourself. And of course, most importantly, fill your brains. Don't forget to subscribe and make them subscribe to this video.